What is up everyone? I am the winner and welcome to our game room. Today we're going to take a look at the game came in ranked 16th in my top 123 games of all time. Uh, today's game is another one of the Ian O'Toole, Eagle Riffin Games, Vitalo Serta game, com the little combo of designer, illustrator, and publisher. It's another one in that series. You've seen On Mars on my list. You've seen Lisboa on my list. And this one is not going to be one you really see coming because I don't think people like this one as much as I do. That game is Escape Plan. Now, this one, for me, is super thematic. I love the idea of this game. In this game, you're all playing criminals that you all just performed a heist, but you all hid money somewhere. So what you're trying to do... You're trying to independently run around the town, evade the cops, the feds, everybody, run around town, go to different places that you stash money, pull your money out, and then get, get the hell out of Dodge before you get caught. Uh, the last time I played this game, it was crazy. I went around and, and collected a whole bunch of money, and I was stacked. I, I knew I was good. I knew I was going to win. The last round, like one of the last rounds, once a, because once an exit once you figure out, deduce what the exit is, then you can leave. Well, if you're the first to leave, it's free. If you're the second to leave, you got to bribe. If you're the third to leave, you got to bribe more. So, like, I think the first person that leaves is free. The second person's got to bribe $5 or $5,000. Uh, the next person has to bribe 10 Well, in the last game I played, I kind of did my calculations a little wrong and figured... I'll be the second one to escape. Maybe the first, but I'm pretty sure I'll at least be the second. Well, I was the third. I had $9,000 and not the 10000 I needed to leave. I got caught. Come to find out, I would have tripled everyone's score at the end. But instead, I lost. This game, I just, I just love how thematic the game is. Uh, you, you're just running around town. And the funny thing is, you have like nine actions throughout the game so you really gotta i mean there's ways to get extra actions but you really have to hone down everything you're doing in the game of course the vital the sort of game so the action isn't as easy as i just move no no your actions i move i interact with this which interacts with that so it's this big every turn's like this big thing which is weird the game only takes an hour and a half which is on the lesser side for vital's games generally they're like two plus this one's a little shorter uh, it's a little lighter than his other games as well, but don't don't get me wrong, it's not a light game by any means. It's like that medium weight, but compared to the other games, it's light. Uh, like I said, it plays one to five. It, it's I love how thematic it is and and how crunchy your actions are, even though they are limited. So you really gotta plan it out. Which, like I said in my last game, I didn't plan it out as well as I thought I did, and I end up getting caught. Uh, but Man, it feels good when you're able to squeak out and get out with all your money. But, man, if you're looking for a fun medium-ish romp in the loot and run kind of genre, definitely give Escape Plan from Vitalis Serta and Evil, Evil Griffin Games a chance. This one went up a few spots for me. I, I, I still really enjoy this game every time I pull it out. Uh, I, I can't wait to play it even more. So... Definitely give this one a look. I, it should still be in print. shouldn't be expensive. And there's an upgrade kit too, but you don't even really need that. It just adds a couple little small things. Uh, man, the game's fun. It's just, it's just fun. Uh, so that's my number 16, uh, Escape Plan. So come back tomorrow. We'll see what number 15 is in my top 123 games of all time. So as always, thanks for watching. Keep playing and keep winning.